Hi, welcome to Amber's Garden Corner. I'm Amber, and today we're going to discuss a DIY egg incubator. Okay, I already built this, but I had a request for how it was built and everything. Um, I used a fish crate that I got at the fish market. So it's like thicker styrofoam. Um, I cut out the top. Uh, Home Depot has these panes of glass, or you can get go to like the dollar store and get. Um, uh, the glass off of a cheap uh, um, picture frame. This here I got it from Home Depot because it was only like a dollar or something and I took it to the glass store and he cut it for me. So I've got it painted on this side and this side and then there is aluminum ducting tape that's around it to seal it off. <sighs> And then in here, I have some wet rat wire that I shaped into the size of the bottom and put a little fencing up here so that when the chicks hatch out, they don't go in next to the light and get burned or anything like that. Um, then I have, I went to a computer store and he actually gave me one of these used um, computer fans. And then just take the red and the black wire and I went to the dollar store and I got this. The dollar store has like a bunch of, or not the dollar store, but the thrift store has just a bunch of um, miscellaneous plugins for like cell phones or miscellaneous power supplies, whatever. And this is a 12 volt, 14 watt, and I wired up the other end of it. I snipped off the end of that and then wired that on here. So those wires are attached together, then taped, then taped again. And my heating element is right here. This is a water heater, a lower water heater thermostat. And some of them have very narrow little holes. Um, I lightly drilled out the holes a little bit. And that what that is is the little temperature, metal temperature plate. It makes it more sensitive. And then I went to the dollar store again, and this is an extension cord that I got from the dollar store for a buck, and I cut the end off that um, you plug things into, and this is the other end. <clears throat> and I got a porcelain light socket right here drilled a hole in right there drilled the hole in put the socket in and then I um, aluminum metal taped around it and then you have the wires that are here once you cut snip off your um, your cord for the uh, that from the extension cord I have put my hot line up with my hot line and this is the light and hooked it up to the end of this and then this was an extra piece of the extension cord that I had snipped off and then connected it up to the little 
brad points there and then that runs over and goes into my uh, line right here and then this one is this line here is from the light pole and hooks up to the hot wire there so that is hooked up to the thermostat and the light and then hooked up to the um, extension cord same thing with this one so then that was these little electric caps screwed them on connected together and then duct taped that together make sure they didn't move jostle and there's no bare wires exposed and um, so that so this plugs in for the fan this plugs in for the light and the thermostat now and then I have my thermostat placed close to my fan and I got a piece of another piece of rat wire cut it up there got some washers screwed the, that onto the this is where the it hooks up onto the uh, water heater so screwed that onto the wire so that it stayed into place I put a screw into here to hold it with a big washer but it was kind of insecure so then I just put some tape over that and it keeps it into place and um, it does a really good job this little incubator stays, stays rock solid also in the lid of the incubator I have two holes drilled in and the electrical duct tape is so that I can block that off if I need to <coughs> and then on this end very down low I have a hole drilled in and then there is another hole on this side and there is one right down there and then I got this cute little this was a dollar store thing too just a small little Tupperware bowl that I keep a little sponge in there and I set that down and I can adjust my humidity this way is I what I do is with this is I can open this up more if I need more humidity or close it up more so that the humidity is on there and then I have the fan set there close to the light the fan blows on the light which blows the heat of the light against the thermostat and helps everything regulate um, also one thing with this when you're wiring it up um, it you can put either wire where it will change the direction of which way the fans going so just be aware if you hook it up and it's blowing the wrong way change your wires and it'll go back to the other way that you want well that's my homemade incubator um, I hope you like this um, and I'm sorry it took so long I wanted to actually wait until after my eggs had hatched and everything I've got to clean them up I've got some more eggs to hatch out and some more turkey eggs coming oh and just to an update on the turkey eggs the turkey eggs did not make it but you know when you're doing with shipped eggs you got a fifty percent chance and that and the combination with the electric outage they just didn't make it um, you know the their chances kept getting reduced with their, each problem that happened but we have some more turkey eggs coming in and hopefully it'll work out thanks for watching I hope you like, subscribe, leave a comment. We love to hear from you. Have an awesome day.